Americans have been economically pummeled in the last three and a half years and usurious taxes have exacerbated the problem, including ridiculously expensive tolls. States don't have money to allocate to their increasing homeless populations, but they don't seem to have any trouble throwing oceans of cash at the security industry to ensure they have the latest surveillance and tracking equipment so Big Brother can keep a close eye on us and fine us even more. So when necessity becomes the mother of invention and individuals turn to the free market to relieve the burden of extortion imposed by the state, well, the state ain't too happy about that. And mainstream outlets like CBS New York here jumps in to make evasion just a little more difficult for the common man. Now to a CBS2 investigation. Drivers use them to dodge tolls and police cameras, but the sale of license plate covers is supposed to be banned in the five boroughs. So why did Amazon send three of them to the CBS2 Investigates team? Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas looks into it tonight. Yeah, except that Tim isn't just going to look into it. He's going to alert the New York state authorities that New Yorkers are trying to escape their roadside extortion racket. Christina Maurice, Amazon says it restricts the sale of tinted plate covers in New York, but we got these easily. Three more examples of the challenges the city and the state face as they move ahead with a congestion pricing plan that depends on readable license plates. Tim's like that spineless teacher's pet suck up who's always making life difficult for everybody else in the class. If the teacher didn't catch you doing something wrong, old hall monitor Tim was always there to pick up the slack and point you out. Remember these guys? They always got special qualified classroom immunity to correct your reports, grade your tests, and be a general nuisance to the rest of your classmates. If he could have, he would have taken you to the principal's office and paddled you himself. There's a law out there and you're not supposed to have these. Hey, Tim, why don't you take those license plate covers and shove them up your mainstream hole? That is the sound of consequences. MTA bridges and tunnels officers stopping drivers on the RFK bridge for violations ranging from a tinted plate cover to a fake plate covering up a real one. Have you seen an uptick in people trying to cover their license plates? We saw an uptick during the pandemic, actually, um, and that continues today. So the government shut businesses down and locked people up in their homes. They weren't getting paid, and some lost their jobs because they wouldn't bow down to Big Pharma, and other businesses just closed for good. But that same government is going to make sure New Yorkers keep shouldering the burden of an oppressive extortion racket. Richard Hildebrand is chief of operations for MTA Bridges and Tunnels, the agency that will manage congestion pricing tolls. Do you anticipate that that kind of thing will increase even more? That we don't know. We have a robust set of tools. Those tools include cameras and scanners that read plates, sometimes even obstructed plates. But officers also watch with their own eyes because traffic cameras aren't perfect. The New York City Comptroller recently found the city system, which is different than the MTAs, rejects more than 20% of the images due to fake or covered plates. The high rate of non-compliance is a pretty good indicator that tolls and fees are unreasonable. Instead of lowering those tolls, they raise them. When they raise them, they purchase more equipment so they can sweep more people up into their surveillance dragnet and generate more revenue. The amount of effort and expense utilized in these efforts probably surpasses the amount they earn from these tolls. So CBS New York is going to publish a story about toll dodgers, but remain silent about the exorbitant fees and the MTA mishandling of state funds and constant traffic jams. One step City Hall took, telling Amazon to stop selling tinted plate covers to New Yorkers. This merchandise endangers New Yorkers. Translation, the free market jeopardizes our ability to fleece the sheep. Which the head of the city's law department explained early last year. Amazon complied with the city's demand. Amazon put up notices warning they won't ship them to New York. 
But a few weeks ago, we found five listings for tinted covers on the site with no such notice. One even used a New York plate as an example. So we ordered three different covers. It's like Christmas morning. And got them shipped to Manhattan within days. See, that's, that's, uh, that's disturbing. We showed the covers to Council Member Robert Holden, who created the 2021 law banning the sale of them. You can bet your bottom dollar that this guy would have turned in people hiding from the Gestapo. Look, teacher, look what they were trying to get away with while your back was turned. They're trying to cheat the system. What should we do? We're going to get them fined. Uh, you know, again, the Amazon platform is going to have to pay. And it looks like I may have to even up the, uh, the penalty. But some people try to cheat the system even without hiding their plate. That's one reason the MTA sensors alert officers when a repeat toll dodger is detected nearby, which we saw in action. The MTA says this truck, owned by a third-party delivery contractor for FedEx, had more than $1,000 in unpaid tolls. Workers had to empty out the truck before the MTA seized it. Officers say on this day alone, they impounded 10 cars and gave 33 tickets connected to $420,000 total in unpaid tolls and fees. If the unpaid tolls and fees are that that high, maybe, just maybe you're charging too much. Your vehicle will be taken off the roads until you pay your fair share and, and become a good citizen amongst the city of New York. Do you hear that? According to this statist goon, you're not a good person if you don't let New York extort you. Your great grandparents paid to build that bridge. Annual revenue fees are supposed to go toward maintaining it, but now they're trying to extract more out of you and they're going to call you a bad guy who's not paying your fair share when the system itself is so unfair? You have got to be kidding me. These cameras and sensors have been here for years, and the MTA has been installing similar tools in Manhattan to prepare for congestion pricing. But some New Yorkers wonder, will it be enough? I can't see them trying not to find another loophole to get out of it. People will find a way to cover those license plates easily. But we made it a little less easy. Amazon removed those five listings from its site and thanked us for flagging them. They declined our request for an interview and would not tell us why they didn't block the sale of these. Look at this smug punk. We made it a little less easy for you to escape New York's extortion racket. They're even going to jack up the congestion pricing and thanks to us, there's one less thing you can do about it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to subscribe to my email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. That's highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a shirt, become a channel member, but more importantly, understand what your rights are, stand on your rights, and always flex your rights. If you don't use your rights, you will lose them. I will see you in the next video.